Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kitchen Colony. And today I would just like to take some time to thank my subscribers and those who have watched my videos and those who have left comments for me. I do appreciate your feedback because it does help me to go forward. Thank you very much again. Well, it's summertime and during summer, it's a time when you want to have a lot of ice cream. And one of my favorite ice cream to eat is Great nut ice cream. And today, if you're interested, follow me and I'll show you how I do this. Now for this recipe, you'll need a great nut cereal and it's a post brand. And I'll be using double cream, which is um, any double cream. And then I'm, I'll be doing the custard based ice cream, evaporated milk, condensed milk to sweeten. And I'll be using some vodka, which is very important. A little essence of vanilla. And this is the almond essence, which gives you the authentic Jamaican grape nut ice cream flavor. I'm using one cup of grape nuts. You can use more or less if you want. And to this, I'll be soaking it because grape nut can be very tough. So you can you have to soak it. So I'm soaking it for about 10 minutes in half of the tin of evaporated milk. You can use water if you want, but I'm using half the tin of the evaporated milk to soak it. And we put it away for about 10 or more. You taste as you go to see what you know out what the texture you want in making it. Now, I'll be using a box of custard, which is 465 gram, which is actually 16 and a half ounces. Now, this is the custard base I find works much better than the cream based one. And now I'm adding the other half tin of evaporated milk to this. Then, I add 600 milliliter of um, double cream, and that's actually 21 ounces and we're going to mix this well mix it well together now for my sweet i'll be using condensed milk but you don't have to use condensed milk you can use icing sugar which will dissolve quickly and this is a, the key i'm using a quarter teaspoon of the almond essence and a mix and taste and if you want to you can adjust just or add more then I'm using a tablespoon of vanilla extra now we're going to mix well together and taste as you go along to see whether or not it's sweet enough or you have the right flavor now mix well to eliminate all lumps beat well but don't be too long because you don't want to start churning and turning your mixture into butter Now when you finish mixing, place your mixture in the freezer and allow it to start freezing for about an hour. Now you know freezers may vary. It may be less or more. So check to see that it has formed um, ice around the liquid and at the bottom. So what we're going to do, we're going to beat that together so that everything is a smooth, smooth liquid. Now at this point, we are going to add our soaked grape nut. Now mix the grape nut in well, don't worry about the lumps because during churning, every lump will break apart. Now here is the important part. Before you put it in the machine, this is where you're going to add your vodka. Now I'm going to show you two ways to make your ice cream very smooth and not very hard, where you find those big ice crystals. No, we're going to have smooth ice cream that is easy to scoop now at this point i'm putting two tablespoons of vodka why vodka because of its alcohol content how high alcohol content and because it doesn't change the flavor or the taste of our ice cream and remember vodka won't freeze now in the next clip i'll be showing you how i use gargum another product to give me the same smooth texture right which allows my ice cream to scoop easily now gargum is made from a plant and what we have to do we mix it before we put it in the machine not 
you mix it immediately before you put it in the machine and you add it to your mixture now for every three cups you use half teaspoon and this is now six cups so i'll be using one teaspoon so i'm going to mix it to a smooth paste and add it to my mixture then i immediately add it to the the machine if not it will get too thick now i'm going to use a little of the mixture to mix this powder to a paste you can add water if you prefer Now mix this well and immediately pour it into your ice cream maker. Now with my ice cream maker, it takes 35 minutes to get that the consistency that I like, which is a thick milkshake. And if I make it go much longer, it takes, it's difficult to come from the bowl and I don't want that. So I stop when it looks like a very thick milkshake. Now your ice cream maker may be much quicker or it may take longer, but just wait for that consistency that I'm talking about. And as you look at me opening the bowl, you'll see what I'm saying. now this is what you want this is the the texture you want almost freezing but still runny this is what you want so when you're pulling it from the bowl it will go into your container easily Now after you pour it, seal it tightly and put it in your freezer. You can start having ice cream at, after 4 hours, but I left mine for 24 hours. Now I took it out the next day and left it on the counter and forgot it. So why you see it melting? But it's smooth texture. Wonderful taste just like Jamaican authentic grape nut ice cream. Guys, I could make this fast enough. My son loves it. My husband loves it. My friends love it. It's wonderful, tasty Jamaican grape nut ice cream. If you follow my method, you'll get the same texture and the taste. To this bowl, I'll be adding some chocolate syrup crushed peanuts and to top it off with strawberries now here are some other ways that we enjoyed our ice cream the first one chocolate covered butterfly cookies for this one we just added fruit salad the next one jello and also strawberry drippings with a cherry to top it off now if you have enjoyed this video please feel free to share subscribe give a thumbs up and also click the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be alerted whenever i upload a new video i would love to hear from you if you've tried it please leave a comment now if this is the first time watching please check out my other videos on kitchen colony and for my other viewers please continue to watch i do love when you watch thank you and see you next time Thank you.